The Quinsum Hatchery has been in operation since 1974. Located just off of Highway 28, the Quinsum Hatchery is a great place to observe juvenile salmon all year or returning salmon from end of July to mid-November. This hatchery in Campbell River has been wildly successful. So successful, in fact, that pink salmon returns in September 2020 were significantly higher than what the river system can support. Overcrowding on any river for a specific salmon run can affect survivability because of diminished oxygen levels. Walcan has partnered with local First Nations Atlagay and Quinsum River Hatchery to sustainably harvest the extra returns over and above what the system can support through the ESSR program, also known as the Excess Salmon to Spawning Requirements Program. And this is key to one of our products from 2020, created from this abundant resource, Ikura, commonly known as caviar. My name is uh, Chris Freeland. I've been uh, working for Walcan Seafood for just over 10 years now. My name is Kazunari Hashimoto, and I'm coming from uh, Japan as 1994, and working at Walcan as almost 26 or 27 years right now. My name is John Duncan. I'm from the uh, Wiwikai Nation. There's, uh, also known as Cape Mudge. And I'm part of uh, Atlagay Fisheries, which is uh, five different nations. And uh, yeah, this is our uh, ESSR program that we've been doing. My name's Ed Walls. I'm the Watershed Enhancement Manager at the Quinsum Hatchery. We've been around for 45 years or so. It's a long time to be enhancing salmon. We've been with the hatchery, but this is about our 10th time, I guess, here doing ESSR. A lot of the early fish came from Campbell River. The Quinsum naturally had pinks. I think pinks have been done here for a long time. We're kind of unique. We see them every year. We do some eggs that go to other community groups and support kind of other smaller streams down Vancouver Island. The ESSR terminal fisheries that we do, I think a lot of people don't quite understand why we do them. I mean, the reason why we have um, why we have a certain, certain target for the number of fish we produce is it's dependent on the habitat availability for those adults when they return to spawn. If we have too many fish come back to spawn, you don't really gain anything by having more fish laying eggs. They dig up each other's reds. There's a carrying capacity of that system. The Quinsum has around 200,000 adult returning pinks for a target. ESSR fisheries actually uh, help sustain all of our wild fisheries. The relationship between a company like Walcan and at Legay, the First Nations group around here. Um, it, it definitely, you know, it, it, it creates a, a really good environment for everybody to basically work. Once the pink salmon utilized in the ESSR program leave the hatchery, they are brought to Walcan's plant where the fish are processed and the roe is removed. This is where the art of making the ikura begins. The three key aspects of a quality ikura, freshness of the roe, maturity of the egg, and skill of the technician. This ikura is being made within 24 hours of harvest. It simply doesn't get fresher. It was at its peak maturity when we crafted this product in early September 2020. Our technician, Kazunari Hajimoto, has been doing this since he was 19, more than half of his life. As 19 years old, as I don't know, I never been there and go outside country. I never get by myself or airplane, but I just got here. Surviving is kind of an adventure. I don't know words, I cannot speak English, zero. In Japan, we call ikura, and caviar is more like English, but as of course, our label or product is we say ikura. And also try to match for what current market, what need for taste and salt percentage, we're trying to do that. Our uh, first priority is for sushi, which is about chum salmon roll. Caviar is just better, so good on the market too. And second one is maybe pink, which is more, you know, for worldwide, from Russia and you know, so many countries, they have a pink ikura. Especially we have a hatchery fish, then we will supply a processing for pink ikura. After having a foundation in international export for decades, the 2020 global pandemic shook up the demand for many of Volcan's core products. Traditional sushi, hotel, and other restaurant products were adapted to a new model, direct to consumer, under the new brand, Tied to Table. Home delivery on frozen seafood allows products such as Ikuda to be available to local customers safely and reliably. 
now it's getting popular too, and we try to make a tight table, kind of like a more advertised for people to care what caviar is and try to get more consumption. More people are, are getting on board and, and realizing that, hey, you know, this, this is a really good thing. I can support local, I can buy local, and I can get fresh product all the time. ESSR programs are a vital part of renewing our resource for future generations of sport and commercial fishermen. Working together has been the key to a successfully executed ESSR program between First Nations, hatchery employees, and our local team on Quadra Island. Our fish, our neighbors, working together.